Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss a very important and basic topic on law of contracts. And this topic is about agreements which are considered contracts under the Indian Contract Act 1872. And to understand this topic, we will have to go to section 10 of the Indian Contracts Act, which says that all agreements are contracts if they are made by the free consent of parties competent to contract for a lawful consideration and with a lawful object and are not hereby expressly declared to be white. Section 10 lays down various essential elements which should be there present so that an agreement can be considered as a contract under the Indian Contract Act. So let's go and discuss about the essentials which are required and first part of the section talks about that there shall be a consideration. A consideration might be past or present consideration, even consideration can be future consideration, but it is an essential element which must be present in an agreement. If there is no consideration, then it cannot be a contract. And parties shall be competent to contract. This is another important aspect. We say that a party must be major and shall be of sound mind to give the consent to enter into a contract. If it's a minor, then a minor cannot give consent to enter into a contract. And going to the next point that is uh, about the free consent, which says that there must be free consent and the party who, competent party who is giving the consent shall give free consent. It should not be a consent which is being given through force, fraud or any kind of coercion or any kind of undue influence upon the party who has consented for such contract. And next is the lawful object. The object of the contract or the agreement should be lawful. It should not be something which is against the law. Suppose me and my friend enter into a contract where we agree that we are going to commit a crime and if tomorrow we want to enforce that contract legally, it's not a valid contract and it's very essential that there has to be a lawful object in an agreement so that it can be a contract in the eyes of law. And last point is that such agreement should not be declared white. There are a lot of kinds of agreements which are declared white under the Indian Contract Act. For example, any contract which is against marriage or with respect to marriage or in restraint of trade uh, for an example, non-solicitation or non-compi, such restrictions are considered white and any clause or any kind of an agreement if it is present is a white agreement and is not enforceable by law. So friends, I would conclude uh, by the point saying that an agreement is a contract which is enforceable by law. And it is only enforceable by law if there are these five elements present in the contract. Otherwise, we cannot say it's a contract. We can say it's an agreement. And all agreements are not enforceable by law. Thanks, friends.